What's up guys? Welcome back to Half Men Up Tech. My name is Ben, your host as always. So finally today, when it comes to the Apple Watch, I'll be happy to let you know that Apple has released the latest software update, which happens to be watchOS 8.6. What this means is very simple. If you have an Apple Watch Series 3 all the way to the latest and greatest Apple Watch Series 7 that you are seeing here, you can simply go into your settings and go to general and be able to do a software update. Now, for me on my Apple Watch Series 7 that you are seeing here, this update came in at exactly 108 megabytes and this is because i was updating from watchos 8.6 betas i've been testing it since april 5th so it's been about a month and a half uh, with this update for me but for you since you're updating from watchos 8.5.1 then the estimated average update size that you can expect is somewhere between 200 megabytes to 280 megabytes that's the range that i saw when i was doing some research so now let's go ahead and look at the software changes or the build number that came with this update at the time i'm recording this video so if we go into the settings and then go to general and then go to the about this watch section you can be able to see the new build number that we have and at the time i'm recording this video it's 19t572 now let's talk about the new features as well as new changes that came with watchOS 8.6 and the first one that i have to mention for my amigos is that finally after about four or five years of waiting we now get the ecg app and ecg support and services for those that use the apple watch series 4 and newer in mexico so what this means is that you can basically go into your apple watch and be able to set up health settings and be able to take an ecg so you can take an ecg anytime with the ecg app and you can also check your heart rate using the heart rate app so ecg can be taken while recording a video like this get your ECG, you can take an ECG when you are taking the bus, you can take an ECG when walking. And this is amazing. And it also comes with AFib or irregular heart rate notifications for Mexico. So I would like to advise you to also make sure that your iPhone is updated to the latest iOS version as the ECG app and the Apple Watch has a lot of things it does with the iPhone. So there's a lot of data transfers and the health metrics that you can see and set up. And you can also share information between your Apple Watch and your iPhone or health metrics from your Apple Watch to those that you do choose to share information to. So this is for me the main thing that this update brings. But there are some new features again and new changes that WatchOS 8.6 brings about. And the second one has to do with magic tap so if you go into your accessibility and then go to hand gestures you'll be able to see that you have the option to select magic tap and the big shout out to zolotech is i was testing watchOS 8.6 was the first person to point this out and this is basically super helpful for those that use ipads and iphones as it's now here on the apple watch with watchOS 8.6 so you can basically double tap with two fingers and get some new options and you'll be able to enjoy this magic tab so that is amazing and it's an accessibility that you can always set up on your apple watch also there are some changes when it comes to apple card apple cash itunes pass and apple pay and i would like to bring to your attention that now the physical apple card is being called the titanium card in the wallet app and also another change that's here with the apple pay is that apple pay has been rebranded as apple cash in the messages app this is because now apple pay is no longer just a tap to pay service you can request funds you can send funds which is something that's good also the itunes pass 
has been rebranded as Apple account card in the wallet app and this card will be able to be displayed in the wallet app just like what you have with the Apple cash card and what this means for the iTunes pass unlike what we had before where you had to show a QR code when you would go to like an Apple store or try to make a certain payment you can actually go into your wallet app on the Apple watch and add it as a payment card and you can basically just use use your Apple Pay like this and now you'll be able to make payments like that using this method at the Apple Store. So that is something I thought I should just bring to your attention. Nothing major. The same changes have actually been implemented for the latest version of iOS. So do check those out once you update your iPhones and I will cover iOS and Mac OS as well. So if that's something that interests you, then definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out. Now, those are mainly the new features and changes that this watchOS 8.6 brings about to the Apple Watch. A lot has to do with ECG, in my opinion, that's the major change. But there are some issues that I noticed that were there from the first beta up to the third beta when I was testing this watchOS 8.6, and those have to do with the battery. So this is my experience, my personal experience that I've seen. So from watchOS 8.6, the fourth beta, up to the official version that we have today, I am, I'm very impressed with the battery life and the way the, the device is charging. So I'm not experiencing any charging issues. My device charges continuously and in a stable manner, unlike before where it would sometimes get stuck to about 97 and then or jump from like 97 to 100 after like 10 or so minutes. Now it's continuous, it's a, it's a smooth flow. And also my battery life seems to have improved with watchOS 8.6, the final version. Unlike what I was experiencing on watchOS 8.6, beta one to beta three. So that is amazing news. I know there were quite a number of people that were experiencing issues when it comes to their devices, not charging with certain chargers or fast chargers so hopefully this resolves some of the issues that you are experiencing so yes watchOS 8.6 does have some minor changes compared to watchOS 8.5 it's a small update and there is an update that's coming up very soon that's going to bring about major changes and updates for the Apple watch and that is watchOS 9. So June 6, we could be seeing the first developer beta of watchOS 9. And if you are a regular subscriber here at Half Men Half Tech, I'm going to be helping you and showing you how you can update and the best way to update your device and protect your device so that you don't lose anything. So do subscribe and stick around. And uh, that's basically about it for me when it comes to watchOS 8.6. Do let me know if you saw something that I might have missed or not covered in this video and uh, if I do something that's drastic or that needs to be shared then I would definitely do that here on the channel so stay safe guys and I will definitely see you in the next video peace